if you would have said, Emmy, in the next 12 months, be prepared because you are going to have some of the most incredible collaborations ever and you will experience some of the fountain pens that you've drooled over for the past many, many years. I would have smiled and I would have said, you're joking, this is not going to happen. I have to work more. I have to be more prepared for everything, but looks like it did happen. With that being said, and this huge smile on my face, as always, I'm your host, Aaron from Panventure. Welcome to a double brand launch on the Panventure website. And uh, ooh, I'm so, so ready for this because I've been working for the past two or three months in order to gather everything and to be ready for this launch. So where do we start? Let's go back like maybe seven, eight years ago. And just like many of you that are watching right now, I started in this hobby watching videos from other YouTube channels in regards of fountain pants launches and all of that. And I've seen some of the most incredible, super, super high end writing instruments for so many times. And I said, hmm, this is never going to be with me. And it took some time, it took some work. And these days I am simply surrounded by some of the most wild writing instruments that you can imagine. And the sheer fact that I've been working for the past, I believe six years, being serious, working without even counting the hours and everything, it, it just simply made everything much more faster possible. But besides everything, some of the things that I'm experiencing today, I thought that they are impossible to reach. And whenever I have the chance to simply reflect and look back at what I've accomplished, I'm simply amazed by both how much serious I become in regards of writing instruments and by the fact of how much the fountain pen community means to me and how important is it in the whole context of writing instruments and everything that means pen venture. So I'm super grateful to have you here today together with me to launch two new brands on our pen venture website. And it's not just like simply normal brands. This is the things that I've regarded as being almost impossible to reach. But with the grace of God, with work, with commitment, it is possible today. And for the past few months, I have simply were a little bit quiet because I was trying to put together this collaboration. Should we just simply name this two brands because I've teased you enough? Yes, I think it's time to simply come out and say those two big names. Penventure just started a collaboration with Pilot and Namiki. Although it seems like two brands, Namiki is the high-end part or division of the Pilot brand. And this prestigious brand, it is available on the Venture website. And in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the pens that I've considered to be available on our website for all of you that are watching right now. And starting from now, we are going to add more things. There are a lot of things that we are simply waiting to have them, both from Namiki and both from Pilot. And I'm proud, I'm proud of the sheer volume of work that I was able to sustain for the past almost five years in regards of working at and with and among you all at Penventure. And simply it's a moment of reflection and I'm super emotional and I hope um, you can understand this and you can relate this because for me, it is not something that is just simply like this happening. No, it is huge, huge work volume. I've, uh, I've simply outdid everything that I've set as targets for Penventure and we are at mile number six. And only by the grace of God and only by you all participating in regards of supporting the Penventure website, the Penventure YouTube channel, my content, myself and everything, everything was possible because of these two things. I'm, I'm, I'm really emotional right now and uh, I, I, I simply think that it's a new start for the Penventure brand 
and uh, from here the sky is the limit and by sky I mean to the sky and beyond. Who? Where do we start? Well, let's start with Pilot because I have some very, very special things to show you. I couldn't get everything right now, but I think we have enough to launch these two new brands on our website. And stay tuned because you will find out what is special regarding this launch in a few moments in this video. And you will want to know this. Anyway, well, let's start with one of the most interesting fountain pens that captivated me and drew me closer to the Pilot brand. And it is none other than the Pilot Custom 823. This is the demonstrator version. This is only available in Japan to the best of my knowledge. I was able to secure the brown or the amber and the smoke black, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous fountain pen. It's one of the fountain pens that I could say that if you are considering Pilot, this is something that you wouldn't want to miss from having in your collection. Next, we have in line something that is super, super cool. And it is the Heritage series in all three colors. And we have here the demonstrator, we have here the black, and we have the blue, a piston filler from uh, Pilot. You can see pretty much everything inside the ink volume, the ink color, everything. Size 5, 14 karat, gold nib, fine, medium, broad, three sizes available, and it is a stunning, stunning writing instrument. And let's proceed further and let's have a look at this incredible pocket rocket. It's a custom 74 Pilot. And let me tell you that you may be fooled by this fountain pen because you wouldn't expect too much from it, but it is sure to offer a very smooth writing experience. Gorgeous gold nib as usual with Pilot. It is size five and we have, I believe, fine, medium and broad in our inventory. Pilot, cartridge converter, vacuum. You need to do one, two, three or four taps, something like this, and it is going to fill entirely with ink. And let's move further because we are slowly getting into the rhythm. And I want to show you something that I haven't seen for the past like three or four years. And this is one of the first writing instruments that started me in this hobby. I purchased as my first gold nib series fountain pen, a Pilot Justice 95 gold trim, just like this. Although that one was a medium, this one is a fine. We do have it both in rhodium colored trim and in gold colored trim. And this is a stunning running instrument with a very nice setup, this pressure bar, which is sliding in and out of the section. And this is one of the writing instruments that simply for me identifies Pilot with my taste because this is what I've got as a first fountain pen. I went on the fountain pen network. I've seen that there are fountain pens that are good in the normal writing and they are also good in being flexy. So I picked the Justice 95 as my first gold nib fountain pen. Let's move further and uh, let me show you something which is a little bit more high tier in regards of the Pilot lineup. And we have here a cool, cool example of a Pilot Custom 845 fountain pen. And we have this incredible fountain pen which is Urushi coated in a very special technique, Roy Ro Vermilion Red and black right here. And this is a stunning, stunning pen. And I've seen this in a video review from David at Figbooth, and it is equipped with a size 15 Pilot nib, which is incredible. Two-tone, 18 karat gold, impeccable. And if you are looking for a, let's just say medium to oversized writing instrument in Urushi from Pilot, this fits in every single category. If we bump it up one more time, we arrive at one of the most coolest writing instruments that I've hunted and couldn't get until now because I do have it right now. And it's the Pilot Custom Urushi. This is the flagship model in Urushi from Pilot and this pen puts a smile on my face. It's big, it's really big. The Urushi coating is flawless, Roiro, we have vermilion and black, and we have this very, very cool Pilot Nib two-tone, and it is in 
incredible as a writing platform. This thing is big. And when I say big, you better believe me, it's big. And the nib is so, so soft and it's a joy. It's a joy to own and to use. And we have it on our website. Shall we just say that from the Pilot brand for now, this is it, but we are gonna add a lot more interesting things soon, soon. Now I think it's time to go into everything that means Namiki because Namiki, hmm, how should I put it? It's got tear. If you know what I mean. Namiki is a very, very regarded high-end writing instrument and for me personally it's one of the lifetime achievements to actually have this prestigious brand and collaboration i do have some examples right here so every single time that you are looking forward at having an amiki writing instrument know that it takes from a few months to make such a pan up to two or three or even more years to have it so we are very lucky to secure a few pieces and of course they received the proper introduction and uh, the, the proper way to display them because I do have this very, very special box right here filled with Namiki fountain pens. Let me show you. Mm -mm. I'm not going to just simply spoil the surprise and show you everything at once. I'm gonna go one by one because they do require a special, special attention to every single detail. Let me show you where do we start with Namiki. We're gonna start with the Namiki Yukari and this very, very nice, small, portable Namiki fountain pen. It is incredible. It is painted in Makie Urushi. I look forward to adding one of these writing instruments and I do have a favorite Yukari fountain pen, which I am hunting at this moment. Let me know if you can guess which model is that specific one which, which version of this model to better say. And uh, let me know, maybe you can guess and maybe you have it, maybe you want to part with it. And I am here to welcome it in my collection. On the cap, we have this incredible maple leaves. Right here, we have one of those very nice houses from Japan. And it is a beautiful autumn scenery with trees, this tree line which is very nicely ornated. We have gold everywhere and the nib, it is very, very cool. It has this two-tone look and it has Mount Fiji on top and it is medium 18 karat gold. I do have another fine example of this series, Yukari series, and it is Milky Way. And this thing has everything and so much more because we do have rotten right now. We have this incredible gold dust. We have a little bit of painting here and there. And it, it, this, this fountain pens are so, so intricate and it's going to stop you in your tracks and you are going to ask, hey, what is that? Show me more because I want to see more. Again, also medium point nib, 18 karat and two tone Mount Fiji on top. It is a work of art. I would say that Milky Way, it's my second best favorite. So here you have another hint, which is the fountain pen that I am aiming to have from the Yukari series. Let's bump it up one more time. And we have the Namiki Yukari Royal. And the Yukari Royal, it's a specific model from uh, the Namiki brand. It is made in metal and we have Urushi lacquer on metal. It's a different feel. It's a much more generous, weighty platform. And this is a very, very nice depiction of a scenery with butterflies, with peonies, and it is very, very high end. It is even having the clip covered in Urushi and the whole fountain pen feels very, very nice and balanced in regards of the weight. The nib is a little bit bigger and it is fine on this one. And I believe the next Yukari Royale pen has a broad point on it. So both of this are available fine and broad. And what should you say? It's, it's, it's incredible. It's, it's art. And we have another pen which drew me with its coloration with its color its palette of colors its theme we have noshi bundle and it is incredible this this has some of the most intricate 
3D look to the overall Urushi coating on top, Yukai Royale. Uh, it is full of gold screams, color, joy, and it, it, it is incredible. And we have a broad point, just like I told you, two-tone Mount Fiji on top. We have an ABS plastic feeder, if I'm not mistaken, yes, but it looks like it has a couple of Urushi coatings on it, black, and it, it looks very, very cool. And are you ready? Because we're gonna go one step up. So this year, I've drooled over the Namiki Aya series, which is composed of four individual fountain pens, blue, red, green, and black. And I'm gonna show you each one. This is a flat end piece with a clip, Namiki, and it has that gorgeous, gorgeous nib from Namiki, and it is super, super big. Two-tone Mount Fiji on top, red, very cool motif like flames uh, going upwards and this red is not too much it's not flashy it's just like a very toned down red very very burgundy to say so and it is a showstopper moving further we have this incredible very very underrated green color and it looks gorgeous and you need light to see this color. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it is a beautiful, beautiful fade of green. Rodden right here on the cap more and on the barrel in the blank spaces where we have more black, we do have some rodden, which captures the light whenever you turn the fountain pen. It is just like a piece of jewelry. And we're moving towards my favorite, and my favorite is black. This incredible black pen has this very, very intricate silver dust sprinkled in it, and it has like the, 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 the look of a velvet or a silk uh, drapery coming down and uh, surrounding the fountain pen, and it looks so, so, uh, tasteful and visually it just simply draws your eyes and curves the light like nothing else. And now it's time to unveil the Emperors and the name says it all. I do consider the Emperor being the ultimate Namiki platform in the regards of writing instruments and I do own myself one and the one that I own is the Namiki Emperor Vermilion Roiro Urushi which is one color of Urushi solid red and we do have the red, the, the similar one to this, and the black one, the black version, joining us very, very soon. But in the meantime, we've used my pen as a supermodel to have it filmed and photographed. So you're gonna have available these two intricate colors of this very epic series available on the Penventure website soon enough. And if you want one, reserve it because they don't show up too often. It's a limited production. Sometimes they are available, sometimes they're not. We place the order for the black and the red and we are expecting them soon, like in a few weeks. This incredible series comes equipped with one of the most biggest, stunning and beautiful nibs on Namiki. It's the number 50 18 karat gold nib and look at my thumb next to that nib it's a nib that you can use as a shovel to garden or to write some of the most incredible lines ever and the sheer size of this pan may take you off your guard if you haven't tried one of this in real life to hold it in your hands it's gigantic and uh, i'm going to show you one which is again not my pen, it is not available in stock, but it's coming very, very soon, the Emperor Dragon. And this pen was sent to me by a very good friend of mine from Germany, and it served as a model for our pictures. It's going to be soon reviewed on our channel, and from here, it's going to be listed for sale, the one that we have coming, not this one, this one is gonna go back to its owner very, very soon. An incredible gesture coming from this incredible person in order to uh, make me lucky enough to try one of these fountain pens prior to getting one for the inventory. So it's available, this beautiful, beautiful pen. And to the best of my knowledge, Namiki has thrown everything in regards of Urushi techniques on this pen. Let me show you one more Emperor. And the one that we have available, it's the Emperor Killin. Top, top, top piece. And this 
incredible fountain pen. It's based on the same platform as the Namiki Emperor Vermilion Royro, and it is painted in Maki A. We have this crazy, crazy killing right here, and we have this leaves and everything. We have black Urushi, we have gold dust, and it's available in a medium point nib, 18 karat, two tone with the Mount Fuji on the nib, and it is looking for its next home. That's it. And we have a lot more Namikis coming. And pretty much from now on, everything that you will want from Pilot and Namiki, you will find available on the Penventure website. Now that you made it till here, the big announcement, you are going to have a very, very special one week starting from today in which you are going to be having an automatic special price discount, call it whatever you like on the Penventure website for anything and everything in regards of Pilot and Namiki. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I wouldn't be here without you. I'm super emotional and um, I'm, I'm struggling to find my words because this is important. I'm a little bit tired after so much work. Today, I spent like eight to nine hours at the office weighing every single pan, putting the characteristics, measuring everything, checking all of the nibs, checking all of the prices, getting everything ready and having it listed right now as we speak. Uh, let me know your opinion in the comment section down below. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer all of your questions. If you like what I do at Penventure, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will mean a lot to me and it will help me tremendously with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for your support. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll find the details for our website, our social media accounts, email, anything and everything that you may need in order to get in contact with me. Also the link for the Pilot and Namiki listings on our website. Don't forget to subscribe to the Penventure YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed, click there, turn the notification bell on. And as always, if you want to watch more of my content, I'm gonna leave you this right here. You can click and enjoy. I'm your host Aaron from Penventure. I look forward to seeing you next video. Stay tuned, bye bye.